guys, 2021 is upon us. Now, with 2020 being a mixed bag of emotion, change, hardship, realization, whatever uh, last year was for you, many are looking to start 2021 off on a high note. You'd actually be really surprised to learn that 55% of Americans are planning to move this year. I actually think fresh starts are really beneficial and that's why in this video we are going to walk through the top 10 worst states to live in america for 2021 guys before we get started hit that like button support us and subscribe for more top 10 videos i've relocated multiple times and will admit i have previously made the mistake of picking up and moving somewhere before doing my due diligence and my experience turned tragic our top 10 list of worst states is based on a few factors, those being crime, quality of life, health, and economy. Those were all things we took into mind here. Now, if you were looking for a change of scenery, our list is here to help you avoid a relocation disaster. And without further delay, the top 10 worst states to live in for 2021. Number 10, New Mexico. Called the land of enchantment, New Mexico is the furthest from it. Now, New Mexico obviously has its nicer areas and cannot be all bad. It currently holds the runner-up trophy for highest crime rate in the U.S. To break that down, New Mexico averages a whopping 8.6 incidents per thousand residents. If that doesn't sound extreme, the national average is only 3.6. This state has seen a steady increase of homicides and drug-related incidents within the past few years. And in addition to the crime rate, guys, New Mexico doesn't host a great quality of life. The average median income is only $23,000 per year. That, plus it has over 22% of its children population living in poverty. Number 9. Mississippi Home of Elvis Presley and Oprah Winfrey, Mississippi is number nine on our list. While New Mexico struggles with crime, Mississippi battles health issues. This state has both the second highest obesity rate amongst adults and children, along with the highest cardiovascular death rate in the nation. With a median income of just over $24,000 and one of the highest unemployment rates, Mississippi's economy is anything but booming. If you're looking to move here in hopes to find a new career, think again. Number 8. Oklahoma Now, this one hurts me a little bit. Being from the Midwest, with unreal fantasies of living the life of a cowboy, Oklahoma makes our list at number 8. Like Mississippi, Oklahoma battles health issues and high obesity rates. Only 50% of Oklahomans report that they exercise frequently or at all. With that said, it is no surprise that Oklahoma consumes less fruit than any other U.S. state. Now, if you've been thinking of looking into the state and uh, would like to have a family, I warn you to turn around now. Our number eight worst state to live in America is also the number seven worst state to raise a family in 2021. Oklahoma's public school system is the third worst school system in the United States. Number seven, South Carolina. The Palmetto State has 187 miles of coastline and is home to some very beautiful vacation spots such as Hilton Head Island, Charleston, and Wilmington. Unless you're planning on living near the beach, you may want to cross South Carolina off your list. Recent reports reveal some dismal insight. With the fifth highest number of violent crimes and ranking for their high unemployment rate, this state provides little to no economic security. A large amount of their population struggles to make ends meet. Number 6. Missouri For a change, poor economy is not what places Missouri at number 6. Missouri's economy is actually growing quite a lot this year. Now, Missouri is known as highly discriminatory towards the LGBTQ community, uh, employment, and does not do a great job of providing protections for its citizens. This place seems to be a murder haven, having 689 gun-related homicides in 2020, which was the third highest in the nation. Now, one thing I've learned about this place is that the weather can be horrific. Seeing some of the nation's largest tornadoes 
and lying along a fault line expected to create a large shake one day, I wouldn't view Missouri as the most secure place to live. Number 5. Indiana Indiana, the crossroads of America, ranks at number 5 and that is mostly due to the quality of life Indiana has to offer. This state has been considered controversial and known for its inclusiveness and discrimination. The lack of protections provided for their people is overwhelming on the basis of age, marital status, and orientation. Among other issues, Indiana's pollution is a serious problem. No, like really, Indiana has the worst water pollution among the 50 states and has for years failed to fix air quality issues. Number 4. Tennessee now, personally speaking, I love Tennessee, love this state. I've mostly driven through and enjoyed the beautiful country scenery it has to offer, but there's always more than meets the eye. Now, ironically, the Volunteer States uh, has the fifth highest crime rate in the nation. It sounds like Tennessee could use some volunteers for a neighborhood watch program themselves. While the state shows fiscal stability, it has its downfalls. 28.9% of the population is obese. It is the 8th most impoverished state. Less than 25% of adults in Tennessee possess a bachelor's degree. Should I go on? At number 3 and our last year's vote for worst state, Alabama. Now, Alabama has a terrible problem with its crime. In addition, Alabama has the lowest concentration of mental health providers and no statewide protections against discriminations of any sort, including for those who are disabled. While I have been to Alabama, enjoy the South, and can admit the state is rich in nature, Alabama has plenty of demons. Their problems include an unemployment higher than the national average, a death row inmate population rating fourth in the US, and a troublesome teenage pregnancy rate. Quality of life here is not great with a median income of only $26,000. Not to mention, Alabama is often victim to a large amount of tornadoes, experiencing 29 of them in 2019. Our runner-up for worst state to live in for 2021. We head to the bayou. Louisiana is home to some quality food, but it may not be the healthiest. Louisiana, one of the fattest states in the country, holds the highest rate of infectious disease. Many experience health complications due to its high pollution levels caused by the many petrochemical facilities it hosts. Economic anxiety is inevitable with the high poverty rates and income inequality in the state. They really have all the ingredients for a place you wouldn't want to live. Poor education, infant mortality, and unaffordable health care. This state claiming they're the happiest state in the U.S. is home to a rough quality of life. And our number one worst state to live in America, Arkansas. Arkansas calls itself the land of opportunity, but it may be time for a new catchphrase. According to a study by the CDC, more than 16% of Arkansans reported frequent mental distress. Now, when I'm stressed, I enjoy a cocktail. If you are the same way, stay away from this state as 35 of their counties are dry and do not allow alcohol sales at all. One third of children in Arkansas live experiencing poverty. Its population has an average college graduation rate of only 39%. The list doesn't stop there as Arkansas has a dictionary length list of bad statistics. 